Iris lived once, fully, laughing loudly at jokes, head thrown back, perched on bar stools, commanding attention in a fitted dress and heels so high she could touch the sky, do anything she pleased with a smile and the guile of someone well-read who was always told they were special. Iris lived once, fully, running fast through breaking waves to feel lighter, freer, to be anyone she wanted to be. Her future was an open book. She wrote and cooked up far-fetched stories of love and understood the glory of living. Iris lived once, fully, loved only once with passion and an open heart, started a family and sung nursery rhymes in a quiet voice each night until the house was asleep, and sometimes she'd weep quietly in the kitchen, late, in the dark, dragging a cigarette to her lips and feeling lonely in the pull of the real world. Iris lived once, fully, dreaming worlds, scheming grand plans, taking life in both her hands and writing diary entries of adventures she never had and she travelled far and wide inside the comfort of her mind. Iris lived once, winding down years in her spider scrawl, and all her life and all its demise was kept between those strict, ruled lines. And when her husband died, she tried to forget, let her children live and her own life slide. She'd hide her sadness except to herself, and read endless diary entries of a life she'd once lived and would have given anything to relive. Iris lives now. Silently forgetting her name, and the same songs she once sang now sound hollow to her ears, and she tried so hard to forget that she forgot herself. And her children send her cards at Christmas, which she covers with food, and stumbles endlessly through corridors, unsure of who she is or where she is, and she misses her husband but can't remember his name and claims he's nipped out for a while, and smiles silently to herself or wrings her hands helplessly, letting her meals fall to the floor and more and more she's forgetting faces, names and places she once loved and waves are something someone else once ran through and the jumble of her words comes fast and wrong and she doesn't realise and her eyes now hold confusion at the intrusion of life over the one in her mind and she hardly ever hears a kind word because people feel the words are lost and she wants to say they're not but just jumbles sentences and no one visits and in a box in an impersonal room, sits diaries spanning a life she lived once, fully. <laughs>